Hello traders, uh, hello traders. Uh, today we want to talk about uh, stochastic uh, 833 and the uh, inverted uh, hammer candlestick uh, tips and tricks. Stochastic uh, 833 and the uh, inverted uh, hammer candlestick tips and tricks. All right, very simple. All right, what are we looking for? We are looking for the inverted hammer so you see here my drawing on the chart this is an inverted hammer all right this is an inverted hammer and uh, there is one on my chart here this is an inverted hammer all right and or we are looking for inverted doji with a long shadow all right the shadow should be very long inverted hammer with a long shadow or inverted doji with a long shadow. All right. Remember those uh, two candlestick bars. All right. This is what you need to know. All right. We want the, those uh, candlestick bar uh, to be piercing a resistance level. All right. So this is a resistance level that I'm drawing on my chart. Whenever you see an inverted hammer piercing, all right, a common resistance level or a hidden resistance level. All right, what I meant by common resistance level is uh, the res prior resistance level that we already know, all right, or hidden resistance level. We are talking about uh, Fibonacci extension level. So when I'm talking about hidden resistance level, we are talking about Fibonacci extension level. When we are talking about uh, common resistance level, we are talking about resistance level that we already know, all right? So that's it. Those two candlestick bar, inverted doji with a long shadow or inverted hammer with a long shadow. That's it. So we want a stochastic. When, so the candlestick bar should be piercing a resistance level, either a common resistance level or a hidden resistance level. That's the first condition. Right. Is it piercing a resistance level? Is it piercing a hidden resistance level? Good. That's the first condition. Now we want the stochastic to be overbought. All right. So either the stochastic is overbought or we see a bearish stochastic pattern. So for traders that are using our 2.4 SP trading material, the trading material that revealed to traders, Okay, the 13 specific stochastic pattern. Whenever you have identified a bearish stochastic pattern or the stochastic is overboard and you see the inverted hammer or inverted doji piercing a resistance level or a hidden resistance level or a common resistance level, we have a bearish trading setup. Is that difficult? So here we can see that the price went up from here where my cursor is, all right, all the way up here. So, price went up from here. Let's put a bit of color into it, uh, all right, so trader don't get bored, <laughs> all right. So here it is from the, this point, you see here, it went up, boom, 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 up to this point before pulling back, okay. You get it now? That's it. Now it breaks above this high here and continue to go up. We apply Fibonacci extension to this price action. And we can see that uh, the powerful Fibonacci extension level that we are watching, that all the professionals are watching, is the 138.2% Fibonacci extension level. This is a hidden okay, resistance level. This is not a common resistance level because we do not know that there was a resistance here before. All right. This is a hidden resistance level because it's a common, it's a, a Fibonacci extension level. You can see that the price, you can see the inverted hammer with a long tail piercing a hidden resistance level and it's stochastic 833. All right. Is also forming a double top. This is a bearish stochastic pattern. <laughs> right. 
end price, we have an inverted hammer that is piercing a, a hidden resistance level. In this case, the 138.2% level. We can also say the media line is piercing also the media line between the 138.2% and the 161.8% Fibonacci extension level. So 161.8% is this line here. And the 138.2% is this one here. The price is also piercing, all right? The inverted hammer is piercing the media line between the 138 and 161.8% Fibonacci extension level. We have a bearish stochastic pattern, and the stochastic is also overbought. We have a bearish trading setup. The next step is to implement a top down trading method. So, because I'm on a monthly chart, all right? The monthly chart is my trading setup. The daily chart will be for my signal. And, all right, the hourly time frame will be for my entry. If I see this on the daily chart, the daily chart will be my trading setup. The hourly time frame for the signal and the 10 minute time frame for the entry. If I see this on the 4 hour time frame or the 2 hour time frame, 4 hour or 2 hour time frame, those time frame will be for my trading setup, the 15 minute time frame for my entry, and okay, the five minutes or three minutes for my entry. Okay, 15 minute time frame for the signal, four hour time frame for the setup, and five minutes or three minutes for the entry. Here it is, boom. This we have a bearish trading setup here. Remember those candlestick bar inverted hammer with a long shadow or doji with a long shadow, piercing a common resistance level or a hidden resistance level, stochastic pattern, we see a bearish stochastic pattern or the stochastic is overbought. I recommend to traders uh, to buy the 2 4 SP trading material. As I'm speaking to you today, we reduce the price from £50 to £30. You can purchase the 2 4 SP trading material at www.stochastic-magic.com. Click on the web store. Here it is. Boom, here it is, it's going down. All right, so I have one more example. This is the US dollar, okay, South African round. All right, so we can see this on a daily chart, hourly time frame, two hour time frame, weekly chart. We know how to trade it, okay? Remember, use a top down trading method to trade it. I have one more example that I want to show you now. This time I want to talk about. Uh, where is uh, the next currency pair? This is, uh, hold on please, traders. I'm looking on my uh, document here. The British pound, Australian dollar. British pound, Australian dollar. Okay, can you see uh, an inverted hammer? This one here. This is a funny one. You can see that uh, it's a hammer, but it went a little bit down. So you see this candle here, this one here. Can you say that it's an inverted hammer? Though it have a tail and also a shadow, it's an inverted hammer because why? The prior was going up first. If the prior was going down, we'll call it a hammer. But because it's going up first, this is an inverted hammer. If, for instance, I cover, here it is, if I cover the tail, Will you say that this is an inverted hammer? It's an inverted hammer, yes or no? Okay, you may say, Joe, that's not an inverted hammer, a proper inverted hammer. All right, I agree. There's one here. It is an inverted hammer. But the, the, the shadow is not very long. We want the shadow to be very long, like a pin, piercing. You know the pin, all right? Piercing the resistance level, all right? You want to do that. So here, what do we see? You see that the price uh, went up from here to here. This is not a common resistance level because we don't know whether this was a resistance before. This is a hidden resistance. What is this? This is the 138.2% zone again. What? This powerful Fibonacci extension level. Here it is again. But you can see that the price is not piercing that. But in that zone, but this is what I'm saying to you, always pay attention to the media line between the 138.2% and the 161.8% Fibonacci extension level. Whenever you see, okay, the inverted hammer or the inverted doji, all right, 
going to a hidden resistance level. All right. Pay attention to the media line between the 138 and 161.8 percent Fibonacci extension level. It usually, take place here. Look, it's piercing the media line. Yes or no? As I showed you before, again, this is a hidden resistance level. It's not a common resistance level. It's piercing it. Let me note something down for myself here. As I'm talking about common resistance level and also hidden resistance level. Uh, bear with me as I'm writing it very fast. Done. Okay? Here it you see here. What do you see here? Stochastic forming a double top. Will you agree? Oh, stochastic is overbought. 8 to 3. This is my favorite stochastic setting. 8 to 3, 3. Nothing else. So now you know what's going on. A top and a top. Traders that are using the 2 4 SP trading material, you see a bearish, a specific bearish stochastic pattern. All right, with the 2 4 SP trading material. And now you see now, will you be smiling? Yes, you will be. Now, in order to control the risk, pay attention to the economy news. All right, don't jump on it and sell it and say, oh, definitely is going to go down unless you are using, uh, okay, a put auction. All right, but always pay attention to the economy news. Remember that for day traders and swing traders, it's quite challenging to trade during the first week of the month and also from the 15th to the 20th. All right, very important. Now, all right, you see it. Now implement a multiple time frame trading method or a top down trading method to trade it like a pro. If the signal fell, just come out again and wait for another signal. Boom, here it is going down big time. <laughs> All right, you see here? So this is about knowing your trading setup and trading your setup. This is a specific trading setup that you want to know, that you want to master, All right, that you want to trade, that you will be looking for. And when you see it, you recognize it. You say, this is my baby. All right, this to make you laugh a bit. I have one more example. All right, so the, the next financial instrument, all right. As always, if you learn something new for the first time, especially if you are a new trader, okay, if you learn something new for the first time, it's quite exciting. All right, you want to trade it straight away, but don't don't rush. Okay, use a demo account. Okay, trade it, trade it, trade it. Okay, until you master it. Can you see again this, another setup here on this chart? This is a long shadow again, here. Yeah? Forget about it. When you see that the, the, uh, this is very volatile candle, if if don't if you don't want to get confused, just cover the tail, cover the tail. Now you it make more sense. All right, invert a hammer with a long shadow piercing. Okay, a key resistance level. It's a smaller one here. The tail is the shadow is not very long. All right. All right. Okay. <laughs> Is it making sense now? And you will see very often between the zone of 138 and 161.8% Fibonacci extension level of the prior price action. Or you will see piercing a common, uh, a common, all right, resistance level or a hidden resistance level. Let me know how you find this uh, uh, trading strategy. So this is a prior bullish move. So from here to here, it's a bullish move. Look at that again. Here we are. Where is the 138? Boom. That's the 138.2%. Let's call it into red. This is powerful stuff, isn't it? Powerful stuff. And it was this 1.8% is there. And if you see this one is if we draw the media line between the 138 and 161.8 percent will be somewhere here. This one will you say this one is piercing it? Pew! <whistles> and now implement a third out of medium, it went down for two months. He recover, shake his head, and move up a bit again. Did exactly the same thing. But this time we want the we want the shadow to be quite long. You see this beautiful. This why this is how you know they are selling. The long shadow, the antenna on top, telling the bell, here it is, your baby. 
calm and use a top down trading method to trade it like a pro. And if it starts going down, you can cream it down. Draw your channel and trade on the edge. There are more opportunities. So sometimes traders will trade like a lion. What do I mean by that? So they trade, they see a powerful trading setup, so they will grab only 100 pips. But there are more to come. Draw your trade line and wait for another setup. Boom, take it down, up again, down, one, two, three. Don't eat it and leave the rest for a hyena. All right? <laughs> you watch those videos? I like those videos about lion and hyena. All right? Don't eat it like a lion. All right? Eat it like a hyena. All of it. All right? So this is just, uh, all right, you don't want the video to be too long. This is about uh, Stochastic 833, all right? And inverted hammer, candlestick tips and tricks. We are talking about inverted hammer with a long shadow, piercing a common resistance level or piercing a hidden resistance level. Hidden resistance level are Fibonacci extension level. You will very often see this, uh, that the, the, the inverted hammer or the inverted doji is pierced in the media line between the 138.2% and the 161.8% Fibonacci extension level. All right, by the way, if you have any question or suggestion or comment, all right, put it in the comment section. I always read it, all right? You may say, George, you didn't answer my question. I always read it. All right, that's how we are recording more videos. Traders asking questions, traders are commenting. All right, so this is what we are doing. So we read the comment and we say, All right, okay, now we need to record a video to clarify this issue for this trader. And then we move on. All right, I do not get upset with traders, remember that. So put your comment. All right, and uh, this will help us, okay, to improve our recording and also to record more videos. The comment, there are more traders that are more active. All right, so we see traders are more active on one particular channel. We post more video there. We see that they are getting tired. Okay, we slow down because we don't want to bore traders. If you see that you are slowing down, we slow you down. Okay, we calm down a bit. Okay, we let them rest. And then we come back again and we post video. Okay. We are the GSTW24 traders talking about uh, stochastic A33 and inverted hammer candlestick tips and tricks. Happy trading to you all. And uh, speak to you soon.